While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. When we show our people that the Bible is about them and that we are God's chosen people and he only care about them, they always ask about other people. But what just happened in Jacksonville, Florida? Three of our own people just got killed by a Nazi racist. And then what, last year, a group of our people got killed in Buffalo, New York by a racist. We so crazy, we worry about other races, but when stuff happens to us, they don't worry about us. Right. We on our own. So same thing with the Bible. This book is for you. Bring it out. The kingdom of heaven is for you. Right. Our other races don't be in heaven yet as your slave. That's what the Bible says. Jay, according to the Bible, you are an Israelite. You God showed the people. That's right. I'm going to prove it to you right now. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16. Deuteronomy 28, verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city, uh -huh. and cursed shall thou be in the field. So it said, cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. If you look at all races of people, what race of people is catching hell wherever they live at? Let's talk about us, bro. But we don't know that. And there's many more scriptures I can show you. The Bible is talking about us. We are the Israelites. That's right. The reason we suffering, Jay, is because we don't do what God said. Second Maccabees 732. Because I know he got to move. I want to show him this. Second Maccabees 732. Real quick, straight to the point. This is going to show you why we suffering as a people. There's one verse. Watch this. Second Maccabees chapter 7, verse 32. Read. For we suffer because of our sins. We suffer because we sin it. So what's sin? First John 3 and 4. First John 3, verse 4. Read that. Yes, sir. So we hear sin in church. Don't sin, don't sin. But before I knew this, I didn't know what sin was. They say sin a curse word. They say sin not walking nobody across the street. That's not sin. We're going to show you what sin is. Read. First John chapter 3, verse 4. Uh -huh. Whosoever committed sin transgressive also the law. Uh -huh. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is when you break God's rules. It's just that simple. So I'm going to show you a rule today. That our people don't know that they break it. Because these are the Israelites. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites. So we're supposed to do what God said. This is one of the rules that will cause us to suffer if we break it. Nehemiah 10, 31. Bring it out. Because today is the Lord's Sabbath day. I want to share that with you. Just like I didn't know. Like the tattoo. We the Israelites. The people on this, the back of this right here, these is the Israelites. These Bring is it. God's people. We got rules God gave us that we follow the Father. Here's a rule I didn't know. I didn't know that we not supposed to get tattooed. But when I heard that, I ain't get no rule. This is a rule we supposed to follow today. Because today is a special day. It's the Sabbath. Read. Nehemiah chapter 10 verse 31. Uh -huh. And if the people of the land bring where or any fiddles on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy of it of them on the Sabbath day. So today is the Sabbath. The Bible said if people bring where or fiddles to you, where and fiddles is merchandise. So if this was on a Sunday, we'll be straight, we'll be Gucci. But today is the Sabbath. We ain't supposed to be buying nothing. Not because I say so, because God says so. I want to leave you with this. 1 John 3 and 4. So on the Sabbath, you're not supposed to buy, sell, work, or cook. You're supposed to dedicate this day to the Lord. You see us out here teaching, because this is something else that you, that you can do on the Sabbath. Go out and teach the Word. But we're not supposed to buy, sell, cook, or work on the really? Sabbath day. The Lord said we got six days to work. We got six days to work. But he said, this day here, I want that, satis that set aside for me. 1 John 5 and 3. Because this is what it boils down to. I know you got to go, but I wanted to really show you that before you leave. This is what it boils down to. This is what made me change. This is the question you got to ask yourself. Do I love God? Watch this. Read. First John chapter 5, verse 3. Uh -huh. you know. For this is the love of God. Because we think you show you love God by running around in the church falling out. No. Or just saying you love him. No. You show somebody you love him by doing what? <laughs> She's to do your actions. Do your actions. If a woman say she loves you, but she cheat, she steal money when you go to sleep, do she love you? How you know she don't love you? Because her actions are not proven that she loves you. Right. So God knows if you love him by your actions. 
Whatever he say do, you gonna do it because you love God. It's just that simple, same thing. That's why I use myself. I stopped getting tattoos because I love God. When I was learning, I'm like, wait, 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 hold on. In church, they say God hates the sin, not the sinner. That's not true. The Bible say he kills sinners. The Bible say he only love those that's obedient to him. So if I want God to love me, I want him to have favor on me, I got to do what he say do. Bring it out. Read. For this is the love of God, uh -huh. that we keep his commandments. You hear that, Jay? They don't teach that in church. They say in church, God love you regardless of what you do. That's not true. If you love God, you got to keep his commandments. Do what he say. It's just that simple. Read. And his commandments are not grievous. Grievous mean they ain't hard. It wasn't hard for me to stop getting tattooed. It's just that simple. Don't get no more. Guess what? Us being the Israelites, we ain't supposed to smoke weed, do drugs. That defile your temple. Think about it. This building right here, we'll use this one, this building. If don't nobody take care of this building and it start falling apart, people spray painting on it, pissing on the side of it, what the city gonna do to that building? They gonna tear it down. So when we smoke, when we put things in our body that's not supposed to be in there, we start destroying it, what you think God gonna do? gonna tear it down. That's why we get diseases. That's why we get cancer when we smoke squares. We're not doing what God said. We can't do what the other races of people do. God don't care about them because they're not his chosen people. We got time for one more scripture. Give me 2nd Ezra 6 and verse 55. Bring it up. Because I was taught that God loved everybody. But you finna hear out the Bible how God feel about everybody else and how he feel about you. You know some of our crazy. When we show our people that the Bible is about them and that we are God's chosen people and he only care about them, they always ask about other people. But what just happened in Jacksonville, Florida? Three of our own people just got killed by a Nazi racist. And then what, last year, a group of our people got killed in Buffalo, New York by a racist. We so crazy, we worry about other races when stuff happen to us, they don't worry about us. Right. We on our own. So same thing with the Bible. This book is for you. Bring it out. The kingdom of heaven is for you. Right. Our other races going to be in heaven, yeah, as your slaves. That's what the Bible says. They going to be your slaves. Because God said they have to pay for all of this. Ain't that just? Ain't that justice? Read this. Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 54. Read. And, he, and then, after these, Adam also whom thou made us Lord of all thy creatures. So Adam was made Lord of the earth. Adam and Eve, they tell you Adam was just butt naked, he was stupid, he wasn't doing nothing. No, when God made Adam, Adam was made to rule the earth. Right. Read. Of him come we all. Everybody come from Adam, right? Everybody know that, everybody come from Adam. But, and the people who also thou hast chosen. That's us, Jay. All these people, these blacks and Hispanics in this neighborhood, we are the people that God has chosen. That's we, right. All this have I have spoken be, before thee, O Lord, uh -huh. because thou madest the world for our sakes. You know who wrote this, who's talking right here? This is Ezra. Ezra was an Israelite from the tribe of Levi. Tribe of Levi. Read. As for the other people. And did you hear him? He said, God made the world for our sakes. So this earth was made for you, Jacob. Read. As for the other people. Which thou also come from Adam. The thou other hast, people that come from Adam. Thou hast said, they are nothing. Ezra said, God, you said that the other people that come from Adam is nothing. Read it again for Jacob. As for the other people, which thou also come of Adam, thou hast said, they are nothing. That's how God feel about the other races. But us here, these 12 tribes, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you said we his chosen. He only loves us. Pick it out. The rest of the races, they are nothing. But we don't know that. That's why we wanted to stop you and share this with you. I know you gotta go. Make sure you subscribe, bro. Okay, great. Make sure you read that. Yeah. Give me Psalms 82 and 6. Bring it out. Because this is a famous scripture that we love quote. It's crazy. A brother just get out of jail, but he know this scripture. Psalm chapter 82, verse 6. A brother a gang bang, but he know this scripture. He'll quote it. Read. I have said, you are gods. Wait. We don't know the rest of the verse, 
But we know that part. Drug dealers know this verse. Right. Brothers that do home invasions know it. Right. right. Drug addicts uh, uh, quote it. Right. right. But we don't know the understanding of that. Right. Read it again. I have said, ye are gods. You black men, you are gods. That's right. Bring it out. But what? Okay, you a god. Are you living like a god? Gods don't sell drugs to their people. That's right. Gods don't get women pregnant and leave them. Gods do not destroy their people. Bring it out. That's not godlike behavior. So don't just quote this scripture and leave it at that. Read on. And all of you are children of the Most High. Check that out, brother. That's free. Read that again. And all of you are the children of the Most High. And all of you are children of the Most High. Right. You black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the children of God. Right. right. You black men, you Hispanic men, you are God. That's right. But what? What else? Read. But ye shall die like men. So the Bible just said, black man, Hispanic man, you are a God. Right. But you will die like men. Why? Why will you die? You got to ask yourself, it just said we are God. If I'm a God, why will I die like a mortal man? Read. And fall like the one of the princes. And fall like one of the princes. You will fall like anybody else. Why? Because of sin. Right. Romans 6 and 23. Bring it out. All we know about this verse is ye are God. Close the book and walk off. No, you are God, but you're going to die like a mortal man. Why? Because you do not keep God's command. That's right. Read. Romans 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. What it say? For the wages of sin is death. This is another common scripture that we quote. A lot of people know this, this scripture. They quote it in church. But what does it mean? Read it again. For the wages of sin is death. You go to work, you get a wage. So God is saying your wage for going against what he tells you to do is what? For the wages of sin is death. Death. The wages of sin, the payment for sin is death. Bring it out. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is